Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you've had a good week. So happy you are here with me today on April 19th. I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. So happy you're all here. Um, I just wanted to start by letting you know uh, how much I appreciate your comments and the emails that everyone sends to me. Um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather again, and if um, things aren't going so smoothly for me this coming week, I'm, I love to return your comments with a comment, but if I'm uh, feeling a bit too tired, I might just give you a heart on your comment to show that I've seen it, and please forgive me that. Um, also, it might be a little slower at returning my emails, so again, please understand. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that's the reason why. So this week's video, getting right into it, this week's video will be about a Mary Maxim yarn opening. And also I have another small purchase, one that I made from Etsy. It's also this week going to be about a knit blanket that I just completed yesterday. And also updates about how the half hour a day of knitting is going. And finally, a peek at the gift covered item that I made for this week. Next week will be about a shawl made for the bird of the month, Make Along. That's Judy's Creations in Crochet, Make Along. And an intro to another shawl that I will be starting. That's a mystery crochet along by Rami Hill. And I'm very grateful that that pattern was purchased for me by a yarny friend. Uh, next week will also be hat, scarf, and shawls made for donations. And about submissions for the book of the month, Crochet Along. That Crochet Along is by, uh, hosted by Crochet with non Nona Rosanna. And of course, an item for the gift cupboard will be there next week as well. So if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss that video next week on April 26th. So now for this Mary Maxim yarn opening. On April 1st, Mary Maxim had a shipping sale and I found a few things to buy. Some to add to my yarn stash and that was so I could work on a baby blanket and some that I hope will work together for some shawls. Now, first of all, um, this particular yarn, this one is Bamboo Fair by Premier, and I got two of these in a color called Ivory. And the reason that I got these, I don't know if they will work well, but I'm hoping from my own stash, I had this color, which was called um, Dove. Now, I am planning to do my first Rami Hill shawl with these colors because I thought these came from the Cambridge Fiber Advent Box. These ones I just purchased and I can't use wool, but I thought if I can use these together, um, it will be less expensive Oh, wait, I've got something coming on my printer. Uh -huh. You'll hear that in the background, I think. Sorry about that. Um, so these, I thought, would work on the um, 
Rami Hillshall in a less expensive way than a really fancy yarn because I'm not as experienced with uh, knit stitches that are fancy. This way, if I have to frog, I think this yarn will stand up better than some delicate yarns might. And if I can uh, work that first shawl, I will work maybe a second shawl in a fancy hand dyed yarn. So that's my plan. And I'll show that one again next week when I'm talking in more detail about that Rami Hill uh, mystery crochet along. Now the next thing that I purchased, they had this Karen Colorama Halo. This color is called Blue Raspberry. And let's see if I can find him here. Um, ooh, I have to dig down to the bottom to find it. I got a coordinating color. Mm. It might be down in the bottom. Let's wait to see if I can find it later. Here's another of those. This is Colorama Halo in the color Sea and Sky. And to coordinate with it, this is Berry Blue. Both of these were on sale, and I'm hoping that they will work together. Although this is a number five, and this one's a number four, this one might be a five because of the halo on it. And maybe that will work together well in a shawl. That's my hope. And both of those were on sale. Another group of items that I got, it was sort of um, because I got four of them, they were a sale price. I got four different colors of this yarn, which is called Mary Maxim's Baby Best. This one's in color mint, um, lavender, and two in white. This is to use with some things that I had from my stash to make a blanket. I found a pattern, I purchased a pattern previously and from in my stash I had a few of the white, I had a yellow, a pink, and a blue. So all of those will be enough to make a pretty baby blanket. So by buying four of those, by buying four I got a special price. Oh, now I found that other Karen Simply Soft. Now this Karen Simply Soft is in the color Blackberry. And again, hopeful that those two will work together to make a larger item, maybe a shawl, maybe a vest, something of that sort. My husband helped me to pick these colors. Yeah, and again, both of these, this is a discontinued color. This was on sale as well. And the last thing that I got, um, oops, this came off. That's okay. This is a prism, Mary Maxim prism. This was the one color that they had on sale, uh, Misty and since this is off of here, let's look inside and see the colors. There. There's some pretty variations in color in that. So that was my Mary Maxim purchase. And um, again, because it was free shipping, I thought, I can um, go ahead and splurge. And that was April 1st that I placed that order. And it came 
really quickly. I haven't done um, the yarn haul till today, but it did arrive on April 4th. So uh, their shipping came very quickly to this location. So um, another purchase that I made, this one um, I made in March, but it was not a yarn purchase. So I still stayed on track to not buy yarn during the month of March. Uh, this was on Etsy. It was by a person, uh, Creation Miss Couture from Alberta, Canada. And it was a purchase of notions, not yarn. Very, very nice. She included some tea. I love tea, so that was quite good. And one of the things I especially needed and have used already are these um, knitting needle stoppers. I've used the ones with the daisy and the leaf already when I was making my knitting blanket. And here we go. I got some Mickey Mouse ones as well. So I like, one of the things I especially like about these, excuse the crinkling. Um, I don't know if you can see here the hole. Mm, maybe it'll show on the blue one better. The hole is quite small. So these will fit a very small needle, but they also worked for the eight millimeter needles that I was working with. So I thought that was quite good. I was really happy about that. Um, the other thing that I purchased was a mystery, two scoops of the mystery, um, 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 stitch markers that they had available on that site. And yeah, I got two scoops of knitting ones and two scoops of crochet ones. And to be truthful, they seem to have some in the knitting one also would work for crochet, but some were just for knitting. You can see the quantity that I got in two scoops. So it was a substantial number. And I got two scoops of each. I got crochet friendly ones. And not crochet friendly, which, as I said, were actually some of these in here could be either used for either craft. Um, I won't go through and show each one individually because there's so many. This video would be so long if I decided to try doing that. Um, I just feel that it was a very nice step up from what I'm used to using and I'll put a picture up here of what stitch markers I usually have been using uh, when I'm doing crochet and knitting. I have some fancier stitch markers but the really fancy ones I put I just display them. I haven't been actually using them. The ones that I've used the ones I use are sort of a little bit more um, the plastic kind and little pieces of yarn. Yes, and bobby pins. <laughs> so these, these will be definitely a step up for, for me. So Creation Miss Couture. Here is her information, and I will try and link her Etsy shop information down below if anybody would like to get in touch. She also does have a yarn available. She sells hand-dyed yarn in your choice of yarn types for those of you who love wool. And what I purchased again 
was a few mystery scoops of stitch markers, uh, two scoops of the knitting ones and two scoops of the crochet ones. So she does have uh, notions and yarn and other things too that are on her channel. So that was the purchases that I wanted to show you. Now, as for the knitting that I've been busy with, I'm so happy with the blanket and how it's turned out with this Premier Toy Box yarn. I measured it. It's about 50 inches by 60 inches. Let me show you first, close up. It's almost like a stitch sampler. There's a bunch of different stitches. And this one is called the Winter Cuddler Throw. It's by Jessica Reeves from Mama in a Stitch. It's free on her website or a paid version on Etsy. I am considering joining her pattern club. I've looked at some of the other patterns. She has many patterns that I'm interested in, and this seems like it would be good value to me. So that's something I'm considering doing. Um, this blanket I made with Premier Toy Box yarn in the color Hula Hoop. I used an eight millimeter needles. And again, the size is 50 inches by 60 inches. And I cast on 120 stitches. I did mix things up on mistake a couple of times knitting when I should have purled but the busy yarn helps to hide it and it doesn't show too much so I didn't frog it back uh, um, I just left it in and mirrored the mistake in another spot on the blanket so that it looks intentional so I really do love this blanket and I think a teen will really enjoy it. The texture, it's very squishy and I love the texture in it. I do like the colors and I have more of uh, this color, enough to do a baby blanket also. And I have a couple of more colors of Toy Box yarn. So I think I'll be trying to knit a couple of more blankets with uh, the Premier Toy Box. I wish that they didn't discontinue it because it really is a nice texture. If someone did want to do something similar, I looked on Yarn Sub and I think Premier Serenity might work up similarly. The colorway will be different, but the yarn itself is a good match. So just to let you know that. And I think that one took about 12 of the, yeah, pretty sure it took 12 of the skeins to make. Now, the next thing that I have. This is the gift cupboard item for the week. These ones are called Aunt Maggie Slippers. It's by Bev Qualheim from Bev's Country Cottage. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I used Red Heart Super Saver in the color Royal and I held it double with Tangle Bag yarn from Cambridge Fibers Limited. I don't know what this yarn is specifically. Someone might recognize it. 
So I, I'm not sure what that particular yarn is. I, I used a six millimeter needles and I made the ladies size. I plan to make a few more items either in white or beige so I can make a spa basket for uh, the gift cupboard. Now with this, after I made these, I thought, oh, the person that I made these for, her feet are bigger than this. I'm not sure. But then I actually did try these on and it is surprising how much stretch is in them. And I'm glad for that because over time, they will stretch a little bit with wear, but also because they do stretch to fit a lady's size foot, it won't slip and fall off of someone's feet. And if someone has stair, stair steps in their home, of course you would put something non-slip on the bottom of the slipper before giving them. Yeah, so that is my gift cupboard item for the week. Now, about the half hour a week of knitting. I have been enjoying the knitting a lot more than I used to and actually have started knitting more than half hour a day. What started as something that I had planned for and actually scheduled first thing in the morning, almost to force myself to pick up the needles and, and, and check it off the list. That's what, that's how I started at the beginning of the year. It's now something I look forward to almost as much as I look forward to crochet. This really surprises me. Now, in my experience, one advantage is crochet and knitting both use different muscles, of course, different muscles in my hands, but also I find different muscles in my shoulders and in my back. So that's a good thing. And I already knew that knitting uses less yarn. So if I look at how much of a particular yarn I have and think, oh, I might run short if I use it for crochet, then knitting is a good thing to try. That's also wonderful. And another advantage that I'm finding to knowing both is how they each work with yarn. So if a particular yarn isn't looking lovely with knitting, for example, I can try it with crochet or vice versa. Alternately, for my taste and budget, I am finding that I really do like using number five and number six yarns with knitting. A big example is the blanket that I just finished and showed. So overall, I am learning so much and I'm looking forward to learning more as time goes on. So thank you so much to everybody for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your crochet, enjoy your knitting, and I hope to see you next Friday.